Good morning, friends. It's Monday. I'm Dr. Jen from the Rose Center for Learning, and this is your Monday message of mental health. This week, your message is the mirror lies. The mirror lies. What do I mean? Well, the mirror uh, lies because the mirror is a distinct point in time where you're looking at yourself, but really people are way more beautiful in motion. I don't know if you've ever realized that, but if you are, let's say you're on a Zoom meeting, since all of us are slaves to Zoom these days, if you're on a Zoom meeting and somebody freezes on their Zoom face because their internet cuts out for a second, right? And versus somebody who is moving and you are talking to them and they have life in them. Life, breathing, movement, those are where the greatest parts of our beauty come from. Same thing with super mainstream beautiful people like models. Um, if you see a model as just a photograph and you see a model that is in motion in an interview or in a video, um, they're more, everybody is more beautiful the more they move. And so when you just look at the mirror, it's just this tiny little snapshot with that particular lighting and that particular anger, angle of the mirror. And it really doesn't give a true picture of who you are. It just doesn't. You're way more beautiful. Also, objects may appear larger, right? Have you seen that on mirrors? And to me, that always... Um, I loved that because I always thought, so basically what that means is that I am more than this tiny little picture of me in this square. I, the object, am larger than this one little bit. And that's what I would say to you. You are larger than this one mirror is showing. So if you're looking at the mirror and you don't like what you see, whether it's a physical feature in your face, whether it's some part of your body, whether it's the way the clothes fit, whether it's your new hair or your old hair or hair you don't want, or whatever it is, when you look in that mirror and you think, oh, no, this is not the image that I wanted to come back and reflect me. Um, take heart in knowing that the mirror lies. What you look at and what you see does not reflect who you are. Also, the best parts of you are not your physical features for anybody. So whether you are mainstream beautiful, whether you are not mainstream beautiful, and what I mean by that, in case that's a phrase that's new to you, is that there's some sort of societal decision on what beauty is, what makes someone beautiful. And it's all garbage, and it's all made up by people who've never met you. And so um, whether or not you fit into that mold, um, it doesn't even matter because those physical features are not what makes someone beautiful. It's the life behind them. If you've ever seen someone who maybe has, you know, good symmetrical looks or a nice color hair, a nice hairstyle, but they are very, very sad or very insecure or very angry or very um, deflated, you can sense that that really affects how somebody is versus somebody who is confident and somebody who is um, happy with who they are or driven to get better or um, loving life and finding joy all around them. Those things carry even more beauty in them than how you are physically. And all of those things are achievable. You might not be able to change, you know, something about your physical self like, you know, your eye color or your, you know, knobby elbows. Um, and you're sort of stuck with that, but who you are on the inside, all of that is changeable. And that's what you radiate out to people. We are much more fixated on energy of people. That's what really draws us in. When we're attracted to somebody, it's that energy that attracts us. We think it's physical looks, but really it's the energy of a person. And so that is what you want to work on. You want to work on base, um, fixing what's inside so that the energy that you pour out is beautiful magnetic energy. And that's what will attract people, which will make your life even better when you attract the right people that you want to have around you. So how do you start? Well, the first thing is stop looking into mirrors because the mirrors lie. 
And the second thing is spend some time thinking about how you want to be. What characteristics, what personality characteristics do you value? Um, look at other people that seem like they are beautiful and happy and have that good energy and think about what qualities they have so that they become your energy heroes or their, your beauty heroes. And think about all of the things that make you who you are and start to value them all. Not only the things that you like about yourself, good self-esteem means that you look at the whole picture of who you are and you value all of it. Even the things that you might wish were different, even the things that you think are silly and ridiculous, even the things that annoy you about yourself, that really when you value something, you're going to value all of it. And there's a lot of different sayings in different cultures that talk about how important all of that is, not only the super pretty polished parts. So I always think of wabi-sabi, which might be something you think of too. And that is the idea in, from J Japanese culture that the cracks and the parts of something that are um, broken or damaged or scarred uh, actually add value and make something even more beautiful. So if you look at a vase, you know, that a crack, fine line in a vase actually makes it more interesting and beautiful and therefore more valuable. And people are exactly the same. So wherever you've been in your past, whatever scars, whatever um, experiences, whatever things have happened to you or that you've taken part in, um, all of those things add into your beauty of who you are, even if it's something awful, right? And that the more you have that, the more valuable you become. So that's what I'd say, wabi-sabi. That's the idea you want to embrace all the parts of you, even the parts that maybe aren't polished or perfect because it makes you you. The other thing is, is that, well, it makes you you, as I said. So the other piece of this is that part of who you are um, in what you represent to the world is all of those things. And that's what makes you unique. And so you want to embrace all of it. There's a great line from um, the movie... Goodwill Hunting. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the name of it. Uh, Goodwill Hunting, which is a great movie. Go see it. Um, with the character played by Robin Williams, who is a therapist. And he's uh, talking to Matt Damon's character about his wife um, who died. And he starts talking about the things that he misses the most about her. And they're all the things that drove him crazy about her when she was alive. You know, not serious things, but like just the little things um, that would that would annoy him. And that that's what he ended up missing the most because they were her. They were a part of who she was. Not only the perfect things, but all the things. And you miss it all when the person's not around. So that's what you want to value now. You want to value that now in yourself and look at that and say, I value all of this because all of it is me. When you start doing that, and instead of being super hard on yourself for the things you don't like and only propping up the things you do like, that, that um, conflict in your energy is palpable, okay? But if you can start to really appreciate all of it, then you really shine. And when you shine like that, people take that and they feel it. They feel like, wow, there's a confident person. I think somewhere along the way, we decided that confidence and self-esteem was about the things that you really like about yourself. And so if you're feeling down, you would say, well, make a list of all the things you like about yourself. But that's so one-sided and ultimately doesn't have the same staying powder power because we can't be great all the time. <laughs> just not realistic. So it's easier to like the things about ourselves um, that we find are nice or good or desirable traits, but it's harder to really embrace the things that we like less, except that that's really how you value yourself. So ultimately, you have a much more realistic mirror in front of you when you can do that. So whatever mirror you have in front of you now, just ignore it because it's lying to you and create a mirror that really shows all aspects of you in all the best lights, the worst lights, the in-between lights, and uh, appreciate it all because it's you and you are worth appreciating. That's your Monday message for today. I hope you have a wonderful week of 
mirror gazing in the right honest mirrors. And um, as always, if you have any comments, you can leave them below. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see all the Monday messages and some other videos on other topics and share, share, share with anyone that you think could use this message today. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.